preparedness is a state of mind. Preparedness says to itself, I'm going to prepare for what's coming, right? If I'm wise, that's what I do. If I know that God is coming back for his church and I want to be a part of that process, I got to prepare for his return, right? Then we see at the end of this paragraph, it says, these 10 women, according to the information given, were the same in all respects. Let's stop there for a minute. You are no different than me. I am no different than you. We are all women. We all have stuff. We all sin daily. We all have hangups and junk that we haven't dealt with. We all have stuff that God is saying, baby, you know what? You've been walking with me for a while. It's about time you let go of that. We all have that. These women were exactly the same. There is nowhere in what God left for us does he leave the parable saying, well, the wise women, you know, I kind of gifted them with more stuff than I gifted the foolish women with. It doesn't say that. It, it gives us a snapshot of 10 equally blessed women leaving on a journey. That means when we accepted Christ, we were all put on the same playing field. All of us. We have the same Savior, the same Holy Spirit, the same salvation, the same ability to increase our faith, the same ability to increase our knowledge. We all have the same principles of our faith. All of us. There's no difference. I don't care what color you are, your background, what stuff you've been through. We are all the same in Christ's eyes. What makes us different is how we interpret the journey with Christ. I love it when Carol says, walk out our faith. That's a powerful snapshot of walking out my faith. If you've ever walked out a hose, have any of you guys ever walked out a hose because you're trying to get it rolled back up so you can put it back away? You're walking out the hose to get all the kinks out. You're trying to get, you don't want the water to, to, to shut off and bust your hose, right? So you walk that hose out so that there's no kinks. When I'm walking out my faith, I'm getting rid of the spiritual kinks in my life. I'm saying, I don't want to get clogged up with this stuff. I don't want to have this stuff hinder what God has for me. Right? So then that means that I have to allow that journey, I have to prepare for it. I have to be willing to allow the Holy Spirit to work through me in it. So as we look at these women and we're saying, hey, I, I want to be the wise woman, I have to say to myself, what am I doing to be wise? I have women all the time, I want to be married, I want a husband, I want kids, I want this, I want that. Baby, what are you doing to prepare yourself for that godly man? God ain't going to send you to no man that is a godly man and you crazy. So what are you doing to prepare yourself for this godly man that you're telling me you want? And 99.9% .9 of the time, their answer is nothing. Why would God send you this Christian brother that's on fire for the Lord and you have not dealt with you? 